Hey, welcome back to Hostess Coach. Today we are going to be making one of the famous chain restaurants spinach artichoke dip from scratch. Really is simple and this one doesn't use cream cheese. We're going to make a roux and then put in some half and half and the cheese and spinach and artichokes. It's going to be delicious. So let's get started. I'm going to start with a quarter cup of butter here. I use unsalted. It's just my preference. And then to that we are going to add um, two tablespoons of finely chopped onion and oh, about three cloves of garlic. Throw this in here and get it started. Whoa, there we go. So you know a roux is when you melt the fat, make the fat, uh, brown it up, and then add some flour. We're gonna cook the flour just for a second, and then you add the milk. I'm using half, half and half. The recipe actually called for cream, and I just couldn't do it. Cream is just so fattening, so I'm using half, half and half. I was gonna use one cup of half and half and one cup of just milk, but I'm just gonna use all the, all the half and half here. So we get started sauteing. And this is, this pan's probably a little big for this job, but I'm using a little larger one so it'll go faster for you guys. So here we have, I wonder how much of this spinach artichoke dip that this restaurant sells. I think everyone that goes there or, uh, orders it. I'm also going to make some homemade tortilla chips. I'm going to cut the tortillas into wedges, corn, tor corn tortillas, spray a little avocado oil on both sides and then put it in a hot oven and make my own. Just a little less fattening uh, tortilla chip to go with these. Plus they'll be a little bit soft if I make them myself. So then um, they'll be nice and like chewy when you put the dip on them. Yum! Okay, so we're just getting our onions and our garlic sauteed a little bit here. And to that, and our butter is melted. Let's see, you wanna see? I'll show you here. What's going on? We've got butter, garlic, and onion. Smells delicious, because isn't that beginning? Isn't that the beginning of like most recipes? So to that, I'm going to add a quarter of a cup of flour, and sprinkle it on here, and let the cook the flour taste out of that just for a minute or so, and that's going to make it. This is what they call a roux. So I'll show you here that we have makes kind of a paste, but you want to cook it for a second to try and, so it doesn't taste like raw flour. You want to get that raw flour taste out. So we'll let that go for a second. Um, now the recipe called for a quarter cup of chicken stock, but I'm not going to open a whole can of chicken stock for a quarter cup. So I'm going to deglaze this with a little bit of Chardonnay just because I had one open. So I'm going to use a splash of that here. So about a quarter cup of Chardonnay, throw that in there and let that mix around in there. The alcohol will burn right off. My hot pan here, oh my gosh, smells so good. So to that, I'm gonna add the two cups of half and half. So this is a container. How many cups in a pint? How many ounces in a pint? Here's your quiz. Two cups. So we'll add that in. Oh my gosh, I'm going to get this up to a boil. Mix in our root. Did that light just come on? <laughs> That's weird. Hello. We have some gremlins. And I'm just going to stir this so we get it all absorbed here. And let that come up to, t to temperature. And the roux is what's going to thicken up our dip. So when our spinach dip it's nice and thick, it's going to be from creating this base. So we will let that come up and just stirring it so we get, so we don't have lumpy dip. So no lumps in our dip here. Oh my gosh. Smells delicious. Cause shoot, basically we just made Alfredo. <laughs> same way you make an Alfredo sauce or a basic cream sauce, same way. And you can flavor it any way you want. So while that comes up to temperature a little bit, I'll show you, I have a jar here of artichokes that I just chopped up a little bit so they would fit on a chip. 
And then I have about 20 ounces here of frozen spinach that I thawed and wrung dry in some paper towels. So you wring it, wring it, squeeze it, wring it again, squeeze it till you get it as dry as you can because you don't want to have your dip be all watery. And then I have a little bit of sour cream and a squeeze of fresh lemon. And then I have here fresh um, Parmesan a recipe called for Pecorino Romano, but I didn't have any. I'm using Parmesan, of course, fresh grated. I grated it myself because if you use that stuff that's pre grated, it won't melt. And uh, we want it to melt into our yummy dip. And then I have a little bit of extra sharp white cheddar cheese. I'm going to put on the top once we get this all going here. So let's check on our, how it's coming here. Oh, coming up to a boil. That's why I use such a big pan. It goes quicker, but I want it to thicken up a little bit before I throw in the rest of my yummy ingredients here. Then you can serve this with um, sliced baguette. Like I'm going to make corn, uh, homemade tortilla chips. You can make a serve it with regular chips, potato chips, crudite, vegetables, whatever you like, crackers, whatever you like. Because everybody loves spinach dip. But this is going to be really delicious. So just getting this, it's thickening up, which I'll show you here in a second. It happens quick once it gets boiling. So you'll see my spoon, my spoon is starting to make a path. If you can see, it gets thick and you can see the trail of your spoon going through it. But it's thickening up. I'm going to let it go another minute or so. Yummy. How many of you love spinach dip? Everybody loves spinach dip, right? You can add a little zing to this and you could add a little chopped jalapeno for fun, which, you know, of course I love jalapeno in almost anything. So, uh, but I'm, today I'm not because I know we're taking this to a party and I'm not sure they are jalapeno eaters. So I'm going to leave it out, but you could always add, make anything your own, whatever you like, throw it in there. I've seen mushrooms in this dip. Um, you know, mushrooms, jalapenos, you can add the artichokes or not. If you don't like them bacon, a lot of people put bacon in their spinach artichoke dip, but I am not doing that today. Cause again, who doesn't love bacon? <laughs> Yummy. Okay. And so now my spoon trails here are just getting thicker. So we are getting ready here to put the rest of our yummies in here. So now let's see, next we are going to put in the cheese. I'm going to put the parm in first and it's grated. So it'll melt really quick and put some lemon juice and some hot sauce. So I'll put a squeeze of lemon juice, about two teaspoons fresh lemon juice. So I just squeezed a couple, cut a couple of wedges off, of course, a lemon from my tree. Yum. And then I will put a couple splashes of hot sauce. Of course, everyone's favorite. Everyone's favorite so much that I'm almost out. <laughs> that might be it. That is the, it. you know what? There's like one splash left. Okay. A couple extra splashes, but now I'm out of everyone's favorite hot sauce. So let's get that mixed in oh, a little bit of salt. I'm not going to put too much salt because the cheese has a lot of salt. So I'm just going to put a little whiz of salt in here and I am going to put a little pepper just cause we like pepper. Almost out of pepper too. <laughs> Probably most people wouldn't put pepper in this dip because it's going to leave, you know, have black specks in the dip, but we like pepper around here. So, oh my goodness. Okay. Let me show you what's happening here. Look at that cheese melting in there. Oh my goodness. Yum, huh? Thick and creamy and delicious, huh? Yummy. The other thing you can put in here, any kind of cheese sauce, you put just a pinch of nutmeg is another secret to yummy 
cheese sauce. So we have melted that and now we are going to fold in our spinach and our chopped artichokes. So I'm going to turn the heat down and throw this in. Spinach, check. Artichokes, check. Give that a stir. Oh my gosh, bring this out over here so you guys can see what's happening. So you can see I'm gonna stir in the spinach and the artichokes into our yummy homemade cream sauce. It smells delicious. Yummy. Let's get this all evenly mixed around. And I'll show you this cute pan I'm gonna serve this in. Put it in the pan and then broil it, cook it in the oven till it's all nice and bubbly right before I'm ready to serve it. This is a great make ahead appetizer for a party because you can make it ahead, put it in your serving dish, stick it in the fridge, and then pull it out right before you're ready to uh, have your guests come and warm it up. And you serve it all nice and bubbling. So this, oh my goodness, it smells and looks delicious. Now this made more than what I'm going to serve. So I'm just gonna put some in a container, freeze it, and boom, I have it ready for my next time. I need a quick appetizer to pull out of the freezer. I am ready to go. So to this, I'm going to add just a quarter cup of sour cream, because as if it wasn't creamy enough, <laughs> we're gonna add a little more cream in there. Oh my gosh, smells delicious. Okay, I have my official taste tester taste this. See if we need more salt. We need, need anything? Hold that thought. Cameraman slash taster. We need salt, pepper. What do you think? It's good? Okay, Ready yummy. To go. Ready to go, okay, delicious. So that is it. I mean, boom, boom, boom. Homemade spinach dip, a thousand times better than what you can buy. And there are no artificial ingredients or things you can't pronounce like there are in the store-bought ones. So look at my cute pan. I'm gonna make this in and take this. These are the Le Creuset little Valentine's Day dishes that I just think are so cute I had to get them. So I'm gonna put it in here because there's only four of us that are gonna be eating this appet appet appetizer. So I'm gonna put some in here. And then I'm going to put about a half a cup of extra sharp white cheddar cheese on this. Hold on. Let's see, I need to switch here. There we go. So you can see what I'm creating here. So let's get it so it's presentable, looks nice. Fill in our little corners here. That is plenty for four of us. Absolutely plenty. Probably more than we need. But look how much the, re the recipe made. So I have enough for another time. So to this, because I'm going to cook this um, right before we go and warm it up, I'm going to put a half a cup of extra sharp white cheddar on top just for a little extra zip and an extra gooey, cheesy yumminess. And oh my gosh, look at that. This is going to be absolutely killer. Yum. Who wants to come to the party? <laughs> And that's it. Quick and easy homemade spinach artichoke dip in a really cute pan. So thanks for watching. If you have any questions about entertaining or great recipes, give me a comment. Thanks for coming.